Hey, how's it going? It's Ruben from the Game Dev Guru. Today I have something very simple for you that is called Expression Embodied Members. This is going to help you reduce the verbosity of your code. The fewer lines of code that you have in your game, the faster you can read. And that means that you can spend your valuable time somewhere else in your game. You see, every day I have to read several thousand lines of code. And this is time that I spend that I can never get back. If I could just spend this amount of time somewhere else in my game, like developing some gameplay features or creating some unit tests, or even just relaxing and having a coffee, then that's great. That's why I love these new C Sharp features, because it allows me to save time and spend it where I most need it. So let me show you a very simple use case. Let's say that you have a player in your game and you want to keep this information up to date. A very weird case, right? So we can assume that we have a class or a structure somewhere in our game that doesn't really matter. Now to keep this data up to date, what I will do is to fetch this information from a backend based on this user ID. A very simple way to approach this is to use the Unity Web Request class. So I could just fire a new coroutine and make a GET request on a specific address and then merge the information that I get from the backend with the local information I have in my game. So here I have my user data provider and I have a getter that returns the address or URL that I need to access in order to get this user information. And what I do here is to use string interpolation so I can call the right get URL for my specific user ID. Now I keep this user data as a private variable as you can see here in this class. In the constructor, the only thing I need to know is the user ID. This is the bare minimum data that I need in order to call the backend and get the rest of the information. And on the start, we're just going to start a coroutine that will fetch this user information through the Unity web request. When the web request is done, I will fill the user data information based on the JSON that I get. This is a very typical approach for writing this kind of code. But if you pay closer attention to this, there is a lot of verbosity that we actually don't need. In the case of the getter, we are just returning a string interpolation. So this is an ideal place where I would ask myself, do I need these curly braces? Do I need this get? Do I need this return? So yeah, to me, there is just too much information. And for the case of the constructor, we see that for one single line of code that we need to write, we need to add more lines of code just to support and contain these curly braces, which is not ideal. Finally, we also have the same situation for the start function. For one single line of code, we need to add more lines of code. And the main problem that I have with this is that the more lines of code that you have, the more you need to scroll and the more time that you waste reading unnecessary characters. This might sound like a small deal, but if you are like me, reading thousands of lines of code per day, then every character matters. So let's see how we can simplify this code by using the C-sharp expression bodied members. The basic idea is this. You can simplify your code if you have a single instruction. And by simplifying, I mean removing most of the necessary curly braces and characters and even keywords that we don't need because they are just implicit. So let's start with this getter. We see the curly braces. We see the get keyword, we also see more curly braces and the return keyword. We can get rid of this by doing a very simple change. Basically what you want to do is to substitute all of these redundant keywords and characters with the expression token, which is equals greater than. And as you can see, this getter becomes suddenly much, much simpler, taking just one line of code instead of four or even seven, as some programmers would go up to. So in this case, the expression bodied members from C Sharp 7 lets us remove the curly braces, the return and the get keywords, which does a lot. Now, if we go to the constructor, we can also do the same. This is a single instruction. Therefore, we can remove the curly braces and substitute them for the expression token. Again, we reduce the function from taking four lines of code to just one. We can do the same for the start function that does the start coroutine. Again, we remove the curly braces and substitute it for the equals greater than token. Now again, we just get a function that takes one line of code instead of four, which is a great win. The gains that you get from this are clear. Your code is much more compact, which helps readability and it reduces the time that you spend reading code. Now you can spend this time somewhere else. If you missed my other articles on modern C Sharp for Unity game development, then just click the link below so you can quickly catch up. All right, take care, see you soon.